<laughs> okay, so this video is gonna be what's in my tackle bag. First of all, it's a Berkeley power bait. So in the front pocket here, uh, we got this junk scale, fillet knife, a Gerber. Oh, that needs to go in my. Okay, never mind. So we have a Leatherman, <clears throat> some Edge Cream, and some like these little players. And then this one. These are the box I have. This one is like terminal tackle. <laughs> and here we got some split shot, a couple flies from my fly rod. These are just like uh, circle hooks, catfish hooks. And then we have some slip sinkers. We have some. Some of these are. I'm not sure what size these are. We have some. These are just all my slip sinkers and stuff. Uh, this has been sitting out in the sun spot. Then we have some. Oops. We have some more little split shot. <clears throat> and then we have some dipsy swivel sinkers. So, right, that's it right there. Then we have some more bottom rig. That's a four ounce, but I have smaller ones. I just don't know where they are right now. Then we have these jig heads. For these little jig heads that I use for my. Uh, like bluegill fishing and. Just pan fish. Then we have some three hot gamagatsu. This one we have some eagle claw laser sharp wide gap one hot hooks. And we have some more eagle claw laser sharp weedless hooks. And then we have some octopus hooks. <clears throat> we have the and then lastly we have these worm hooks. The VMC uh, one hot. Then we just have some more. We have some. Uh, Wire leaders, we have some shaky heads in here, uh, some more the, the hooks that were in there. We have a weight, one weighted one, some more sinkers. I don't know, I this is just like the terminal tackle, like hooks, sinkers, and stuff like that. And then in the next box, this is just all my top water. So we have like a Heldon, Heldon baby torpedo. We have this is my these are poppers, this is a lunker. Lunker Hut, uh, Popper. This is a Rebel Frog or something like that. It's like a, oh gosh, I just hooked myself. Let me, okay, so I can't really get this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, then we have, I think this is a Rebel Frog or something like that. And this is a Cabela's band, brand Popper. <clears throat> we have three Jitterbugs in there as well. And then we have, <clears throat> we have, four, we actually have five of these frogs. They came in a six pack, I lost one. We have one more black, one of these frogs. And they're pretty cheap. And then we have <clears throat> a Lunker, a Lunker Hut pocket frog. Really small. And then we have, I think these are both Strike King. I have a black and blue and a chartreuse bus bay. And then we have like this other little Strike King one right here also. I don't know if you can see it. Right here, there's a smaller one, <clears throat> and just the just this black and blue one has a trailer hook on it. The chartreuse one does not. Next, we got my soft plastics. We have these are uh, actually tubes. I just have this bag because I didn't like the uh, sinkos inside of it. They were Zinker Z Copper Truce, but they all stuck together and stuff and didn't really work out and then we have some um, coastal conservation association oh wait okay <laughs> they're yeah they're just these jig heads and i have some other swim baits in here right there some more swim baits <laughs> then some key i don't know how to say this but it's right there they're like you got five of these or yeah like how many did you get okay you got eight of them but these are just not, they have great action, but they're just not very durable at all. And then we got just some, we got power bait, power worms, there's only a couple in there, and then there's some like 
the zoom or something like other worms in there. Then we have some yum dingers. Uh, and ooh, what are they in? Pearl watermelon pearl. And we have some zoom horny toads, green pumpkin. And we just have some crawls and like beaver tailors or whatever in there. And then these weird stick baits, I don't know what they are. A trick worm right there. Some chartreuse looking, starts, they're not looking, they are chartreuse, like curly tails. And this is just like some white flukes and some other things. Like swim bait sort of things. Just put these back in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I kind of did these two boxes. Um, like with how they go in the water column. So, let's do the crankbait box first. And then, so I just put the crankbaits because they're like more towards the bottom. And then with, with the crankbaits, there's mostly crankbaits and jigs. So, let's see. We have a KVD 1.5, and that's a sexy shad. And we have two more KVD 1.5, and this is like a crawl one, and then I'm not sure which one that is. And we have these two. I got three of these in a pack too, but I gave one away. And then, so these are really big, and they have really good rattle. And another square bill. This is also a Lunker Hut chartreuse. Haven't caught kind of fish on that, but haven't used it much. I used it like one or two times. Um, then these are just junk ones. A little jig head. Okay. This is a Rapala. I know that. Rapala Rippin' Wrap. We have a Storm Thin Fin. It's missing the treble hook. And this is a a uh, Bait Ball. Oh man, where are they? I can't remember what they are, but Bait Ball, Lipless Crank. This is a another Rapala. And like a, a Shiner or something. This is a Booyah. Lipless crankbait. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have Booyah. It's like in a crawl color. And this is. Not sure what this is, but it's like in a. Almost like a baby bash or something. <clears throat> so then. This is a Berkeley. Um, Willy Willy or like Willy Gilly. Something like that. Looks really good. Let's see, and this is a KVD. I think it's a, a 5XD. Diet Craw. And this is. I'm not sure. Oh, what was this? I don't know. It was some like weird name, but it was on sale, so I just got that in like a shad color. And we have. This is a KVD. I'm, yeah, this is a KVD. It's like a. I don't know, but I'm pretty. I'm almost 100 percent sure it's candy. This is a candle. Uh, I don't know what this looks like. It's like a little. I don't know, like a speck or something. And for the last deep diving crankbait, this is another bait ball, but it got like. I don't know. It like got a bunch of like water in there, and it's like getting all nasty inside. I don't know, but I guess it still works or something. <clears throat> it was back in there. And then, in here we have this jig with a crawl. Can't remember what kind of a uh, jig this is. But it's a football jig, I know that. <clears throat> and then we have a KVD a swimming jig and like a sunfish, like a green pumpkin something. Then at this bait, local bait shop at my friend's house, I got four of these smaller black and brown jigs from like a 50 cent bin or something. Then I at least have this one jig here, rigged up with the one swim bait. Like I said, they have really, really good action, but they're not very sturdy. And then just a little jig head with a, uh, with a minnow on it for like pan fish and other things. Little bass, even big bass bite that sometimes. Oh, this goes in there. But we have a bunch, quite a, like we have a couple hot and tots in there, crawfish. And we have a uh, chrome green, a perch, a blue and chrome. And there's some more 
and jig heads. <clears throat> we have a minnow spin or mini spin, minnow spin, hatch spin, and then so that's in that box. And then here we have this hand tied spinner bait with a trailer. It looks really good. Uh, has some really good colors in it. And we have this. I don't know, I've had this thing forever, I'm not sure what kind it is. And I just put one of those little swim bait things on it. Another one, I'm not sure what kind this is either, but it was, I think it's off brand. This is an off brand. Actually, this might be a Strike King, I'm not sure, but I think it might be an off brand. I know this one's a Strike King. And like a chartreuse brownish color. And this one right here. I think this one just striking too in a black, a black and orange. And we have this one. It's in a brown, like a pumpkin color, like a black and orange. <clears throat> I'll let you go here. Okay, we'll get to that next. Okay, so these are my spinner baits. I have an actual spinner bait box, but I don't have enough room in this tackle box to fit all my stuff. And then, so I'm just gonna put all this stuff back in there. I guess it doesn't matter. So then jerk baits and we have a jerk. They kind of they're getting these are rusty because I don't know they just get wet and then and these are really cheap all of them except these two are pallets those are good lures. So I'm just gonna have to buy some hooks to put on those. But I really don't use jerk baits. I don't really don't use these repellers but if I ever need them I can. I have a black and blue chatterbait, and I had a chartreuse one too, but I lost it. So now we're moving on to some swim baits, some more like hard swim baits. We have a perch one. This is a Cabela's Real Image. I know that. And then we have this other like <clears throat> little shad looking one. And we have two storm, actually three. One of them is high on my other pools. Storm like sunfish with a chartreuse dip tail, paddle tail. Then we have this one. I paid like fourteen dollars for this one. It looks like a uh, rainbow trout. <clears throat> and as I'd say, it's probably good. Yeah, it's probably six, seven inches. It's hard. And it's really hard. It has some uh, <clears throat> good joints though. It really has good action. But it just slowly sinks and it, it doesn't really turn off. And then if you jig it, like swims. But it's more of like a floating style one because it, like when you even wake it really good when you swim it on top. I've caught, I've only caught, I've caught pike on this and I snagged bass on accident when I was using it. <laughs> like I was just reeling it in, and all of a sudden I got something. I was like, oh wow, I set the hook, and then I reeled it in. I thought it was like a really big fish because it was hooked into the side, but it was just a. Uh, it was just a foul hook bass. And it was only like five inches. They, like the lure was bigger than that. Then this is a Johnson Silver Minnow. Haven't caught anything in this, just got this like a little bit ago. And we have some spoons here. This is a single hook spoon, orange and yellow. And we have another red and orange uh, spoon. Like these are pike and for pike and stuff. And then we have this one, which I I don't know, I found this one. And then the this one I got in an antique store. When I was there, I was like, oh, hey, that looks cool. And it was like a buck. So I just got that. And tomorrow, I'll do a review on the uh, Savage Gear Bluegill. That's also going to be going in here. I'm not to make room for it somewhere. But I just got a Savage Gear 5-inch uh it's either a light or a dark bluegill. And then, so we're making on that. And then, I'll do a review on that tomorrow. Because this pond, a lot of ponds I fish here in Michigan, they have a lot of like, a lot of the primary food, for, food sources for them are bluegill, and like other little bait fish like that. And a couple of days ago when I was at one of my other, one of my favorite ponds that I like to go to, I lost like a seven pound, eight pound bass. Cause I, but I didn't like lose it. I was I was bluegill fishing with one of those little jigs, and I got like a five six inch bluegill on, and 
I was, it was pretty much right up to me. And the uh, bass came up and just grabbed the bluegill. And just took off of it. But I was using a little bluegill rod. Now I had four pound test on it. So it was like, it almost spooled me. And then it finally let go. And the bluegill was just like destroyed. So I bought one of those. I, well, I ordered it. And it should get here. It said it will get here by tomorrow. And so hopefully that will get here. And then I can do a review on that. And I'll probably end up using it. Thursday or maybe doing tomorrow. I don't know. I'll probably use it tomorrow, but I kind of bought it for that one spot. But it's like it was like fourteen dollars on the Lucky Tackle box, but then um, I found it on Amazon for like ten. So that was what is inside my tackle box. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.